Imagine, if you will, that the intricate tapestry of elements and infrastructure that comprise our modern electric grid could be likened to musical instruments. You can hear the ever-present hum of high voltage as it courses through the veins of transmission lines. If you could stand toe to toe with an immense steam turbine, you would hear and feel the rhythmic vibrations of its churning blades and the sharp hiss of intensely hot steam. If you could slow down time enough to watch the delicate dance of atoms in a nuclear reactor, you would marvel at the staccato of their annihilation. Lastly, if you had the chance and stood under the mighty blades of a wind turbine, your ears would sense the rush of air pressure and the powerful thumping sounds they make as they dig into the air to make energy. If all of these elements were instruments, an orchestra if you will, the symphony they would form would be called the BES, or Bulk Electric System. What is the BES? In ancient Egypt, the dwellers of the land worshipped a god called Bes, or Bisu, or Aha. He was a complex being who was a deity god of war, yet he was also a patron of childbirth and the home. Over time, Bes came to be seen as the champion of everything good and the enemy of everything evil. The ancient Egyptians might collectively smile at the modern-day connotation of the term Bes. For by its very definition, the bulk electric system is by far the most complex machine ever built by human hands. The BES is comprised of all transmission elements operated at 100 kilovolts or higher and real power and reactive power resources connected at 100 kilovolts or higher. Much like its ancient Egyptian namesake, the BES is a champion of good, for it encompasses everything about how our modern society functions. It is the symphony of turning the harnessed fuels and resources that are abundant in our world into massive amounts of energy. It is the orchestral dance of moving that immense volume of energy into every corner, every fabric of our society. The melodies are the thrum of current as it powers our boardrooms, our classrooms, our operating rooms, and our bedrooms. As with any gifted group of musicians, the elements that encompass the BES must be all in tune, working together seamlessly, instantly, and tirelessly. This complex machine is both flexible and fragile at the same time. No orchestra can simply produce beautiful music without a conductor. The BES has conductors, so to speak, all across the country. It is governed and controlled by both human hands and complex machines. Computers, programmable logic controllers, and sophisticated relays all work in conjunction to keep the BES stable. So the next time you are walking down a busy street, surrounded by brightly lit buildings, quiet electric cars, and bristling shops and businesses, imagine the symphony orchestra behind it all. Try to picture the hisses and hums and the vibrating roars of massive jet turbines making power. All of that music is the life cycle of electricity. And that is the bulk electric system. Want to know more about the conductors of the symphony? Stay tuned for our next episode, What is SIP? Coming April 4th.